in two shows, I've given up my solo song because I've said, you know, I have to have my eye on the whole piece and I don't want to give up my song, but I know it's not working. I know it's not serving the piece. Yeah. And so that happened in Beetlejuice and they turned it into a duet and it worked out much, much, much better. Oh, that's good. But what's interesting is we, they changed it from, from DC to New York to this other song that was also a duet. I loved it. We were doing it in our final workshop. We get to the theater. It's in tech. We're about to be in front of an audience, and they called me into the office and and um, or like the lobby actually. And they're like, "We have to show you something." I was like, "I'm like, oh my god, what? Am I getting fired? <laughs> What's happening?" And um, uh, they were like, "We have this idea for this other song, and we want you to listen to it before we even think about." It. And I'm like, "But." We didn't even do the other one in front of an audience yet. You don't want to just try that one out. So they played it for me, and I was like, okay, it's great. So yeah, let's try it. So we blocked it in the lobby of the theater and then put it in in tech rehearsals. I mean, in our first preview, because we were already in tech. So how many, how long did you... You're listening to the Broadway Podcast Network. 